did you know? In 1888, Jack the Ripper was committing terrible crimes in Whitechapel, London. And today's artifacts may be just as grim to those of you who love cats. You see, it was in 1888 that the English Illustrated magazine reported that a farmer in Egypt had uncovered a mass grave, though not for humans, rather for cats. They reported that not one or two here and there were found, but dozens, hundreds, hundreds of thousands, a layer of them, a stratum thicker than most coal seams, ten to twenty cats deep. These were not just cats, but ancient Egyptian mummified cats, in various states of preservation. This remarkable find was not put into a museum, but rather shipped abroad. The journey to Britain. The cargo, £38,000, or 17,236.5 kilograms of cats. That's 17.2 metric tons, or 19 short tons. Now, the best of them, some wrapped in linen, some with gilded faces, had been sold to tourists back in Egypt. But the ship's cargo was destined to be ground down and used as fertiliser on the fields of England. So, everybody, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had not one, but hundreds of thousands of dead cats. <sighs> E-I-E-I-O, with a dead mog here and a dead mog there, here a mog, there a mog, everywhere.